In the south of Argentina is Patagonia's Los Glaciares National Park that contains the biggest glaciers in the world. The Perito Moreno Glacier was created due to the merging of several large ice flows. Its tongue flows slowly into a southerly tributary of the Lago Argentino. The contrast of the local flora and fauna of this fascinating region with its lifeless masses of ice is quite striking. The Perito Moreno is part of the Campo de Huelo Sur, a large continental glacial area in Patagonia that geographically is part of the Andes. The endless ice flow of the Perito Moreno Glacier sometimes reaches as far as the Magallanes Peninsula on the other side of the lake. Thus, the Brazzarico is separated from the main lake. The water is blocked by ice and the surrounding land is flooded. The water of the Brazzo Rico eventually overflows across the glacial tongue. Finally, the mighty tongue of the Perito Moreno breaks up and the water masses flow into the lake. In recent times, these impressive natural spectacles have become few and far between. It's not known if climate change is actually responsible for this, as the ice of the glaciers still continues to form. It was once known as the Bismarck Glacier. Its current name is derived from the Argentinian scientist and geographer Perito Moreno. The most spectacular views of the Perito Moreno Glacier can be had from an observation platform on the Magallanes Peninsula that is located on the opposite side. It's like looking into another world, one that is full of primeval power and mysterious beauty. A visit to the Perito Moreno Glacier is like a journey through time, a trip into the last ice age. Indeed, around 18,000 years ago, large areas of the Earth's surface were covered with glaciers. They covered almost a third of the land. Now, glaciers are to be found on only around 10% of the land. On the hill opposite the glacier, a network of pathways and platforms was built in order to provide the finest views of this unique natural wonder. When walking along the paths, there's a good indication of the varied plant life that exists in the southwest of Argentina. 
And if one is a little patient, some of Patagonia's wildlife can be seen. The walk constantly travels up and down the hill, but breathtaking views more than compensate for the arduous walk. These glaciers are branches of the inland ice of the Southern Hemisphere, the largest continuous ice mass on the planet. Glaciers are ice flows that form out of snow in the mountains. By way of both pressure and constant freezing and thawing, the snow is transformed into ice and gradually flows into the valleys. It is in the warm months of summer that the largest sections of ice break off from the glaciers. It's a magnificent natural spectacle. Visitors to the park witness this natural event that has taken place each summer for thousands of years. In 1903, Argentina's first national park came into being. Explorer Francisco Perito Moreno donated 7,500 hectares of land. In 1981, UNESCO designated this remarkable natural landscape as a World Nature Monument. In addition to the huge, kilometers long ice walls of the glacier, the boats wait patiently. Fresh pieces of ice break away from the glacier's edge all the time and plunge into the water with a thunderous crash. It's an impressive natural spectacle. In contrast to most of the world's glaciers that are now diminishing in size, the Burrito Moreno continues to expand. Each day, the ice moves closer to the lake by around a meter. Here in the eternal ice is the largest supply of fresh water on Earth. Luckily, the glaciers of Patagonia have been spared from human interference. Only possible climate change causes concern. Let us hope that the Perito Moreno Glacier will survive climate change and exist for many, many years to come.